sure I've uh, had people say to me, when you laid hands on me, what you said was so good. <laughs> and I say, well, what was it? <laughs> yeah. Let me in on it. I don't know. But I do know what the Lord kept telling every one of these teenagers today, tonight. He kept saying after each one, God wants the life. You grew up around holiness. You're in all the meetings. You get to where you know how to act in them. You get kind of accustomed. You get to know how to act when you feel the Spirit. You get to know how to act. God's not interested in your prayer. He's not interested in your songs. He's not interested in any kind of worship from you at all without your life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's after. All he wants yes. is the life. Yes. Yes. That means how you treat one another yes. when you're out somewhere. Yes. That means when you're home by yourself. He wants your life. Yes. Yes. He wants you. That's what God wants. He wants you. And if he doesn't have you, be better off not to praise the Lord. That's what Paul called eating and drinking damnation to yourself. You get to where you know how to act in a meeting of the saints, but if he has your life, you know how to act around the sinners. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Amen. You'll have to act, you'll know how to act outside the meeting of the saints. Yes. If he has your life, yes. he has your heart. No, 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 no. If he has your heart, he'll have your tongue. Yes. 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 He will. He'll have your hands. He'll have your decisions. He'll have your desires. Yes. If he has your life. Yes. That's what he's after. Because he wants to save it. Yes. Yes. He wants to save your life. Yes. And if you want to save your life, then give it to him. Get rid of it. Because you don't know what to do with it. That's right. Yes. Paul said, we don't even know how to pray the way we ought to. But he gave himself to the Lord. He said, boy, the Spirit talks some good stuff. <laughs> Praise God. He gave his life to the Lord. And look at the result. How his faith, what it did. Amen. You want to be, you'll be worth something in this world. Give yourself to Jesus. Amen. That'll make you valuable to every person you meet. You'll have something good for them. If it's nothing more than a good hug, you'll have it for them. If, that's, if God has your life, you won't be a bad influence on the people around you, especially the younger ones looking up to you. Yes. You won't be a, uh, something they've got to overcome to do the right thing. Yes. If he has your life, he has your attitude. Toward parents, toward government, toward authority, and toward those that you could abuse if you wanted to. If he has your life, you'll bless them. And God will bless you. That's what God wants. He wants to save your life, not just your soul. My father said it was a good thing for old people to get right with God instead of going to hell. That's a soul saved. But God likes it much better when young people come so He can save their life. Yes. 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 That's what God wants to save. He wants your life. He wants your life. Because only He knows what to do with it. Yes. <laughs> you don't. I didn't. I made a mess out of mine. And Jesus picked me up out of dung heap and said, Give me your life. I give up. I gave up. He gave me a life. Yes. This is the life Jesus gave me when I gave up mine. Yes. Yeah. Amen. This is the life Jesus gave me. He created this person out of the life, the ragged life I gave him. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, no, 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 no. 
And it was a pleasure for that old man to die. Let me tell you. It was a relief for him to get out of the way. And just let Jesus guide my life. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God forever. Thank you.